Well, I guess we are level now. And there's only one quest. Hello there. Hey there, Cindy. What brings you here? Oh, good day. Uh, you won't happen to have seen Tol today, will you? I did. But I'm afraid it's currently out of Anka and tending to some business. I... I see. Do you need something from the guild? It, it's nothing too important. Well, Tawal did leave us in charge of the guild for the day. Oh yeah, and we are right here. So just ask us if you need anything. That's right. Helping others is what the good does. And that's what we are here for too. Lady Laura, I can simply ask you to give up your time for my sake. So, but if you insist, then I suppose. I'm supposed to be looking for some someone's grace, you see? Oh. I can't recall ever hearing of such a plan before. I assume it's so well known here in the grove. That's right. It's a rare flower that grows in the surrounding countryside. It has the unusual trait of blooming only on sunny days, and only when the river is dead as foggy. That certainly is unusual. I guess I'll make today an ideal day to go find some then. That's correct. That's why I made my way to the guest to ask Tovel to find some for me. But as you just informed me, he isn't in today. I can't really go out into, into the highway on my own because of the monsters, though. So I'm at loss as to what to do. It's just a secret quest. Uh, so, would you be willing to go and get us some for me instead? Yes. Maybe to us. Really? Thank you so much. I have a pretty good idea as to why you might want it, but allow me to ask. I assume you're planning to make a charm, right? Th that's correct. A charm? In Legram, when someone you hold dear embarks on a long journey, it's a tradition to make a charm for them. Then, you told that person to take with them, and it's supposed to bring them good luck. Well, I've never heard of any tradition like that. It's a custom that stretches all the way back to the Middle Age. It said it began when people over in charge the member of the Asian writer, as they left for the distant battlefields. Fascinating. So how is the luminous grass used to make these charms then? Well, the traditional way has you placed one of its petals within the charm itself. Because of how the flowers bloom, people believe that they had the power to clear away fog, And because of that, the flower came to symbolize victory over chaos. Wow, that's pretty deep. Yeah, that actually sounds like a really cool charm. Have you ever been given one, Laura? I have, actually. Cindy gave me one right before I left for Taurus. Syria and Chloe gave me one too. I kept them in my desk at the gallery. When I look at them, it always makes me feel a little closer to home. They are some of my most precious treasures. I'm so pleased to hear you say that. <laughs> she really does care for Laura, doesn't she? I think we can simply up some soon. Back to the luminous grass, the What is exactly does it look like? It's only a flower with the white petals that grows around here, so that'll be the easiest way to find it. They may be rare, but we should be able to find one if we search the Evil Highway. I've they are found more frequently at the higher elevation, particularly near steep cliffs and the like. Well, with that much information, we have to be able to find one. I start to search while we still have plenty of daylight. Yeah, time for flower power. Thank you very much. Good. Second quest start. <laughs> I didn't expect that. So I think we need to go to here because this is a high place. Oh. Who are you? <laughs> I shall be the one who catches this most elusive of fish. I wonder what it must taste like. Ah, I simply can't wait to find out. Huh. Well, I didn't expect I will encounter an NPC in here. But anyway. No, I don't want you. Stop, stop chasing me. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's the quest mark. Oh my, what pretty flowers. It looks so clean and white. Now this luminous grass. 
They are. You can still see bits of dew clinging to them. The sunlight shining through the droplets make the flowers shine. They are just so shiny. Here, allow me. Alright, we should take this back to Cindy at once. Alright, let's sit my time. Wait, is there another chest that I haven't opened yet? Freaking hell, let's go there. Whoa, this one. How did I miss this? Alright, that's good. Let's go back now. Alrighty. Here is your floor. Welcome back, Lady Laura. I see you managed to find some luminous grass. That we did. Here we go. Thank you so much. Now all that's left is to make sure that Peta's phone don't wither away. <laughs> I see you're wasting no time. You have a special man in mind, don't you? I hope he returns your feeling. But let's not misunderstand, Lady Laura. I might be making it for a man, but there's no special meaning or underlying thing there. I'm just doing this as a way to offer my thanks to him. Your thanks? Might I ask what it is you're thanking him for? Well, you see, Syria and I were out on the highway not long ago, but somehow, we ended up quite a distance from the road lamps. And it was just the two of you out there alone. That's absolutely dangerous. It was. As you might imagine, we were beset by monsters. However, one of the disciples of the Earth School happened to be passing by and saved us from the, our predicament. He escorted us back to the town, but as soon as we returned, he left for the training hall to resume his practice. So in the end, we didn't really have time to chance to thank him properly. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I like how he reported so kindly at the end too. True, it was very dashing but still. I did feel terrible for about not being able to thank him for his selfless deed. Soon after, I learned that the disciple of the art school all one day leave Legram to return to their homes. So I decided to make his charm for him. Your heart's in the right place, and your intentions are noble. I'm sure the disciple of the school would be more than happy to receive what we call the charm of promised victory. Yes, that's exactly it. Do you understand now, Lady Laura? I'm deeply grateful to him, but you'll probably be the only one in my heart. Y yes, I do understand what you're saying perfectly. <laughs> Man, Laura, you are very popular. Poor girls, too. You really think she has no feelings for him, though? Not even a little bit. <laughs> Midas heart holds many unknowable secrets. Oh yes, that reminds me. I've yet to properly thank you for your help, so please take this. Thank you. Did you make this yourself? I did, and it's not the same kind of charm, but I put my heart into making it all the same. I wasn't able to make one for everyone, but I hope it'll come in handy for your journey. I hope so too. Oh, this is pretty cute! Thank you very much. Right, one quest done, and let's go to the inn. Oh, hello everyone. Have you come along after seeing the Rick Assassin to Tobel? Yes. That's right. You're in search of some sort of elusive fish, correct? I am, I am. I feel like I should apologize for asking you guys to help me with the personal request, but I will up for it. If you are, I can share the details with you all right now. Yes? You're in luck. Our schedule just happened to have an opening. Ah, thank you very much. Just like the request mentioned, I want you guys to seek out a certain elusive fish for me. It's a peculiar variety of salmon known as the gold salmon. Just like the name says, its body has golden glow, not unlike the look of gold itself. That must be an exquisite fish. It sounds rather really garish, honestly, but I'll have to say it to just for myself. Have you ever seen this fish before, Wyver? Unfortunately, all I know are what I've heard from the rumors. Bam, who's usually fishing at the back of the inn, is actually the one who told me about it. Its golden color isn't its only distinctive trait, either, he said. He mentioned that its flavor is to die for, too. Oh, now you've got my attention. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll be lying if I said I wasn't interested in this myself. That's certainly understandable. After hearing so much about it, I wanted nothing more than to try it. I've been bugging Tobal about it for quite a while now. 
And now it seems like, thanks to you, I might finally get my chance to try it. Fishing, huh? I guess we're supposed to even take on jobs like this. If this fish is so elusive though, what are the chance we could even catch one before the day's end? That just seems to be the most obvious issue here. Is it impossible to catch the fish in Lake Evil? Doesn't seem so, unfortunately. We mentioned that he did catch several of them here at one point, but he hasn't found one on the end of his line for several decades now. That doesn't exactly inspire confidence, you know? How would we go about catching it then, and where? Well, I've actually received some promising info from Topol that put me back on the trail. He comes as an occluded sparkler in the river along the highway several times now. All those rock sightings have been in, in different locations too. Huh. Well, at least that turns out our source to the river. True. It'd be much easier than trying to search the lake would be. We might be able to find it then. I know it won't be easy, but there'll be a place as much if you did catch one. But now that I think of it, do you have the right tools for the job? Sure. I brought my rod with me. Will this work? Hmm. Let's see what you got there. Hmm. Deluxe rod, is it? This happens to be the same fishing rod we give in stock to land to the customers. The gold salmon is supposedly quite a hefty fish, but you should be able to land it with this rod. Sounds good to me. Let's make our way then. Yeah, let's go. I should take this quest first before going back to the freaking able highway. Ah, now we make to travel to the highway again. Here it is. And a bell. The shiny golden glow. Ooh, I simply can't wait to catch it. It seems like a good spot to fish, but I wasn't expecting someone to be here already. She seems to be an ordinary civilian, and a noble at that. I'm surprised she's straight this far from town. Just wait right to talk to her. Yeah, might as well. Excuse me, could we talk to you for a moment? Who are you? Wait, I recognize you. You're that military academy student who saved me in my hour of need of need several months ago. Oh yeah, I think we did meet once before. Oh, so you know her? Yeah, we ran into her while we were out in the Celtic on our very first book study. Now I remember, one of our tasks involved delivering a lost wallet to its owner. And it just so happened that the wallet belonged to this lady in front of us. Hmm, I see. <laughs> I'm very grateful to for what you did for me. Sadly, that wallet has become rather lighter since you returned it to me. Oof. Oh. What if you ask what brings you out here? I would have thought that was obvious. I'm trying to catch my dinner, of course. Some might think of fishing as a leisurely hobby, but I will beg to differ. It's proven to be an essential survival skill. Goodness, you <laughs> seems to be this world. I, I see. I remember her being anything like this last time. So, what inspired you to come this far out of town to fish? You could have just sat on dock on in Lekram, right? She could have, yes. Lekram is conveniently situated right on the shore of the lake Evel after all. Surely it wasn't necessary to brave the danger of the highway to come out this far just, just to fish. <laughs> That's where you are wrong, I'm afraid. A first class angler needs a first class boat. Is it fishing on the shores of the peaceful lake just won't satisfy me? What is with this woman? She's certainly a unique individual. Sounds like you are up to something special if I had to guess. Indeed I am. I have come here seeking the elusive cult Salmon. I heard tales of it from a gentleman in the lake room by the name of Ben. But he also informed me that it cannot be found in Lake Evil, which is what led me to this spot. And sure enough, not long ago, I finally got a glimpse of the golden glimmer beneath the water's surface here. A golden glimmer? That sounds like a lot like what the said they saw too. Looks like this must be the spot then. <laughs> I should have known that you would be searching for it too. Very well then. Let us compete to see who can catch a gold sound first. That's not really what I had in mind when we came out here. That aside, we seem to have found our location. True enough, let's get fishing. Time to fish! Ooh. Go! Huh. 
Yes. Oh, that's a golden fish. Come on. Almost there. And catch it. Now that's a catch. Impossible. You gotta call a salmon before me? How can this be happening? <laughs> now you're making me feel kind of sad about it. Still, thank you very much for telling us about the golden glimmer you saw. You may not have thought to fish here if you're not for your guidance. Fire plays an necessary element in any competition, think nothing of it. Besides, I simply paid the price for underestimating you. It was my fault that I lost. I thought my experience over the past several months had threatened me, but it seems I still have the room to improve. And improve I shall, until one day, I'm known across the line as the finest angler in all of Arabonia. <laughs> well then, I bid you good day. I yeah, more power to you. Well, good luck with you. I shall go back to the town. Hello. Hey there, everyone. Do my eyes deceive me or is that the legendary gold summon you have there? Defying all the odds, it actually is. Here we go. Oh my, it's... It's a beautiful. I really can't thank you enough. It's even more splendid than in Ben's tall tales. Now I can see why people liken its appearance to Goldia too. So, what are you gonna cook it for us? Really now? <laughs> as you're as curious about this test as I am. Naturally, I have every intention of sharing the taste of this trump and catch you with all of you. As for how to bring out the finest flavor, riverfish tend to be the best suited to grilling, so... Just wait for a few minutes while I fire up the grill. Haha, <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to this now. And I think we get some food from one of our morning tests too. <laughs> it feels like we've just been stuffing our faces today. So it was that with forks held high, they all looked in and enjoyed the fruits of their labor. Well then, what do you guys think? Where do I even start? Well, the moon of fat was just perfect, sublime even. I agree. I never would imagined it would taste this exquisite. I'm glad to see my earlier skepticism was wholly unwarranted. It's hard to believe that this was just grilled. Yeah, I didn't even think that you could get a fish this tasty. Haha, <laughs> glad you all like it. Even I was surprised at how delicious it was. Just mess in your mouth. I feel like it's my duty to share it with the rest of the town now. Looks like I'll have to put in another request with Tobal. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure he'll gladly accept. Yeah, once he hears about how good it is, he'll have to be crazy to turn down the opportunity. Haha, <laughs> you said it. Honestly though, I want to thank you again for all your help. Unfortunately, I like an offer a stock from a store, but please take it. Thank you. I wish you all the best with the rest of your facility. Thank you. Good day, then. Alright, I think that's the last quest we need to do. Uh, should we head back to the gate and start filling everything away? Yes. Thus the member of group A brought their for fruitful day to work to an end. And following the instructor, Topo left for them, they began the not quite as exciting process of filling the paperwork. Oh, are you finished? Yeah, we just finished getting everything sorted out. Goodness, that was exhausting. That little brat, she could at least try and help instead of flying around like a house cat. I can't say I'm surprised. I don't think she's used to spending it this long on such exciting task. Oh well, we are almost finished. Haha, <laughs> alright then. Still, it really goes to show how the bread Toval is. He fulfills a lot of requests on his own. And still has time to handle all the day-to-day -day reality of running a good branch. Indeed, 
It's even more impressive when you consider that he finds time to visit other regions of the country as well. His mobility and knack for solving problems are exactly what one would expect from Bracer. The good boy have been frustrated out of the country, but he's still out there trying to help as many people as he can. Even when we were in Barrier Heart, he came to our aid. And if you look at all his records, it's clear that the people really trust him and rely on him for help. That's very true, but... It's something the matter. Nah, I was just thinking. If prisoners play an essential role to the people of the other countries, are they not just essential to the Erubonians? Well... You may be right. And not just because they help maintain public order and provide other service. Th that idea, prioritizing the protection of civilians above all else, is pretty noble and something people admire. Ah, my voice is really at the edge right now. That's certainly true. In many ways, it's a form of nobility that we need to fall by the wayside within Erbunis aristocracy. I'm not sure that this is as black and white as you have it. Tugas is an organization first and foremost, and one based far too much on idealism, and far too little on practicality. Donation and public funding can only go so far in covering its operating costs. It's not stretched at all to say that with the Empire's Series now, the guest removal was inevitable. And that's what my brother said once when we discussed this. Isis. Looks like his brother is waiting on his mind. I suppose there's another way to look at it. I have to admit, it sounds very cold and dismissive. But it does carry more weight coming from Rufus of Beria. Hmm. Emma, you are so big. <laughs> and soft. <laughs> oh, nice. Williams. Look at that. She doesn't even have to be awake to be in irritant. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it shouldn't take much longer to finish filling the rest of the reports. We should focus on getting everything done and returning to the mansion. Sounds good to me. Excuse me, is anyone here? Yes, Chloe? Oh, you're the girl who works at the water store, aren't you? Oh, Miss Laura! It's double here by any chance. I'm afraid the boy is out of town on business at the moment. Is something the matter? Th they haven't come home. Julian and Connor still haven't come back home from the castle. Castle? Holy hell, that those two really freaking just go straight up into the castle. Man, such a balls to have. Wait, you don't mean... They chose to go to the Lion Creek Castle. Surely you don't mean to suggest they took a boat without any supervision. I'm afraid so. They said something about going on an adventure. Then they took out of the boats without even asking. <gasps> it's evening now, and they still haven't come back. It sounds like a serious problem. Yeah, and right when Double is away from the guild too. We just have to do whatever we can to help out. I agree. We can just stand around and hope they'll come back. If you're to search the lake, we'll need to put ourselves. I'll have a class prepare one for us at once. While you do that, I'll wake up Miriam and we'll have another look around the town to see if we can find them. Splitting up and searching the town does seem to be the best course of action. So thank you! Rest assured, we'll do all we can to find them. Man, those kids are really have some big balls to go there. <laughs> The creeps are to the town from the top to bottom, but they find no sign of the missing children. And by the time the other students didn't become aware of what was happening, evening had given away tonight. Well, I didn't think it's safe to say the boys are in town. Looks like they really did head out toward the castle in the boat. The lake's been calm and there's no sign of a boat in the water. So at least it's unlikely to capsize. Ah, guess that leaves the castle then, right? The Hankin Castle was once the stronghold of the Azenrita. And while the Arsat family is still its stewards, it's rare that anyone's ventured inside. I have nothing to tell has happened to them. Their parents are really worried too. I asked them to stay at home and wait for us to contact them, but... At this point, all we can do is venture into the castle and see what we find. 
We have to use the boat now, do we not? We do. A couple of us from the Arsat School are preparing an our boat for us as we speak. It does worry me that it has started to grow up with the agenda. Well, let's head down to the wharf. Let's make sure all of our equipment is stored out and we have everything we need just in case. Right, let's hurry. Yes, I can end it. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this episode, my name is Samantha and, and I will end it here. And yeah, the tension is warming up, the noble faction is getting closer, and the children is missing in the castle. Boy, we have a lot of to worry about. But yeah, that's all about it, and I will see you guys soon in another video. Have a nice day everyone, and I will take a rest here. Goodbye. See ya.